Shalom Alochen, Shlomo Alecho. Welcome to this new video, my dear friends. Today we will talk about the contributions that the Assyrians made to the world post-Empire. The first one, science fiction. This one might amaze you, or maybe you've already heard of this. Lucian of Samosata, who was a writer and a satirist in the 2nd century AD, wrote about popular stories, but totally, you know, he played with the stories, like he ridiculed them. He went from, like, stories that normally were on Earth, he, he put them on, on the moon or whatever, on Mars, you know? And this guy is ridiculous. He laughed with the Greek gods, with Christianity, with all kinds of popular stories at that time. And the way he guided his readers, it was just like this. So in his foreword or in the introduction, he told the people to follow his guidance but not to believe him because he's probably the biggest liar they know. This is like typically Assyrian, this kind of humor, you can still see it today. It's so obvious. So this is the first one, science fiction, science fiction. Next one, universities. I know, it's insane. The University of Nisibis. Nisibis is a city, an Assyrian city. It is also, it's also called Nusaybin. Um, the school was very active in the 4th century, uh, they teach philosophy, as you can see, philosophy, logic, literature, etc. It was in the Byzantine Empire, so the Roman Empire. Um, they had very infamous teachers like Narsai, Ephraim the Syrian, Bersauma. These figures are very important if you study church history whether it, be, it is the Roman Catholic Church or the Syriac Orthodox Church or the Church of the East, these are very important. Um, so universities, yeah. Uh, the next one, uh, before we move on to the next one, sorry. Uh, this, is, this is what remains of the school of uh, Nusaybin. We also see where Nusaybin is located. So as I told you guys before, this is literally the center of the Assyrian speaking world at that time. Um, so it's in southeastern Turkey, as you can see, it borders Syria and Iraq, so really the center. Uh, it was in the province of Mardin, which is still called Mardin today. Um, so yeah, universities. The next one, spread of Christianity. Assyrians have contributed so much to the spread of Christianity, it is insane. If you don't know this, Assyrians are the first nation to fully embrace Christianity. I can literally make a video about this single point. So I'm not gonna go very in depth here, but I'm gonna try and explain the most, you know, the most important things that you have to know. Um, Assyrians, when they converted to Christianity, they threw away their ancient pagan Ashuristic identity. That's why today Assyrians still have a lot of political conflicts based on this choice. They chose to embrace a full new Christian race with one sole purpose, serve the Lord and spread his word, do a lot of missionary work. They did amazing missionary work. They literally went barefooted from Nineveh, which is the, which is the, the capital of Assyria. What I mean with that is just Assyria in general. So. Northern Iraq, Southeastern Turkey, Northern, Northeast Syria, Iran. They went from those places, they spread all over the world to China, even to China. We're gonna go there just in a minute. So at that time, this was the work of the Church of the East. You can do some research about that. And um, it was during the 12th century that it had 60 million followers in Asia. So that's a lot, that's insane. It was a very, very big church with a very important role. This is what we call the Nestorian steel. <clears throat> this is a steel that they found in China, which confirms uh, the activities of the Church of the East in China. Um, the Chinese people called Christianity infused with, you know, uh, Buddhism a bit. It, there was some Buddhistic influence at that time. It was called Jingzhao. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but it basically means the luminous religion. <clears throat> China was called 
Bet Sinai, Beth, which means house, and Sinai today, or Sinai, means Chinese. <clears throat> so that was a province of the Church of the East. Um, so it was very important, and Assyrians contributed a lot to the spread of Christianity, definitely in Asia and the Middle East. Okay, we move on. <clears throat> this is the last one, and this might confuse a lot of people, I guess, because I didn't know this as well. I just found this out recently. It is that Assyrians, well, it is one individual that invented the airbag crash sensors, the heated seats in your car, in your car, sorry, and opening your truck with your car keys, which is just, it amazes me. So in the early 80s, there was a man called Zaya Yonan. You can see him right here who invented these things and he has the original patent on them. Thank you for watching this video. These were the five contribution, contributions I wanted to share with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Pushin uh, bishlama u fushin bishloma.